Evil campaigns are fun, but they're not really suited for lower levels. There are low-level devils and demons for good characters to fight, but no low-level angels for evil characters to fight. In the basic rules, there's the CR2 Pegasus, CR4 Coatl, and CR5 Unicorn, but those are Celestials, not Angels. Same with other supplements. So how do we allow low-level, evil characters to fight angels just like low-level, good characters fight devils and demons? We make them ourselves. We want to make them a low-level infantry unit that angels can use to support them, or that can be a threat on their own just like imps and quasits for your devils and demons. So, what would the angel equivalent of an imp be? FBI, open up! Because angels tend towards being more humanoid, and in order to limit the amount of work we have to do in the conversion, we're going to base it off of the CR 1 8 guard. We could do something closer to other celestials, but this feels the most appropriate for a deva, but just scaled down for a level 1 or level 2 party. So we take the stat block of the guard, and first things first, we have to make it a celestial. Then, we have to give it a fly speed, I'd say probably 30 feet to match its movement speed, and let it speak celestial as well. So here's where we run into a bit of an issue, because the Asomar race that you can play as a character is resistant to both radiant damage and necrotic damage. However, while Devas are resistant to radiant, they aren't resistant to necrotic. And personally, I thought that they would be immune to radiant. So because these monsters, or angels are meant to be weaker versions of devas, we're going to go off of that stat line and give them resistance to radiant damage and non-magical weapon damage, or bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from non-magical weapons. So the next is a bit of bookkeeping, where we're going to increase its wisdom score and its charisma score to 16 if it's not already higher. So for this guard, we're going to bump both of those up. I'd also make its primary attack stat a 16, just so it actually has a chance to hit. If you want to check my math on that, if you look at the imp, they have a 17 in dexterity, so it's about appropriate that they would have a 17, perhaps in dexterity as well. Now we're going to want to give the angel extra hit points. Now this is highly dependent on what type of game you want to run, and also how many you want to throw at the party. If you want them to be more of just a standard enemy that the party can fight and overcome, maybe only give them 10 more hit points. But if you want each angel to be a threat, and just two or three of them to be able to take on the entire party, maybe give them 20 or 25 more hit points. It's really up to you. Lastly, I'd say that each of their attacks deals an extra d4 radiant damage on top of what their normal weapon damage is. And, of course, we'd make their weapon attacks magical. Now here's where we get into the more angelic features of the creature. I would say that just like how the deva can do a healing touch, we're going to give this smaller angel, or an angelic soldier as I'm calling it, as an action, it can touch a creature to restore 1d8 plus its wisdom modifier hit points, or it can cure a disease. So it's a little bit like a mixture of cure wounds and lesser restoration mixed into one. I would also give it magic resistance because Generally, all extra planar creatures have this, like even an imp or a quasit has it. And in the same token as both larger angels like a deva and also its small scale contemporaries like an imp, I would give it shape change. Though, I would go more on the side of the imp shape change, where it can turn into a few select creatures rather than blanketly having shape changing abilities. Just like how the imp can turn into a rat, a raven, and a spider, I would say something that has a less negative connotation behind it. So maybe a mouse, and a robin, and a butterfly. So taking all of that together, we have the building blocks for what can approximate a CR1, CR2 angel. But I'm not done yet! No, that's a lot of damage! Now, your mileage may vary, and depending on how you run your group, this might be entirely too difficult, or a complete pushover. This isn't meant to be the definitive homebrew for an angelic foot soldier, I just wanted to use this as a case study to present one way of homebrewing new creatures. Take an existing creature, change around some backend mechanical stuff, give it some stat boosts, and then grant it a few cool abilities that really cement the idea of what this creature can do. For instance, you could use the same philosophy on a thug or a bandit. An angelic captain might have the same process done on a veteran or knight. If you've homebrewed any low-level angels before, let me know what you did. I'd love to hear what other people have done, especially if they're biblically accurate. Have fun!